So Lake Linganor was created in 1972, and of course all uh, lakes in Maryland are man-made lakes. Uh, it was created as a recreational resource for the community, and it was also prepared this way so it would be an augmentation of the City of Frederick's water supply. City of Frederick takes water not directly out of the lake, but out of Linganore Creek downstream of the lake, and the lake provides a supply when there's a drought, for instance. There'd still be water flowing in the creek because of the lake. So it impounds Linganore Creek, and that impoundment also starts to catch sediment. And as time goes on, the sediment builds up in the upper reaches of the lake to the point where it has to be removed. Otherwise, you start to consume the volume that both the recreational use is for, as well as the water supply. We're going to take about 100,000 cubic yards of sediment out of the lake, mostly the sediment that's arrived and is upstream of Boyers Mill Road Bridge. That sediment at 100,000 cubic yards, to envision that, that's about 15 football fields, three feet high, thick with sediment. It's about a year and a half project, and um, during that period of time, most of the activity that residents will see, if they're, if they're on the lake or if they're driving around the lake, they'll see a barge with a dredging, a hydraulic dredging unit on top of it that's literally sucking the sediment out of the bottom of the lake in this area upstream of Boyers Mill Road Bridge. That slurry will then be piped, so they'll see a pipe that runs, sort of floats on top of the lake down to a staging area where we'll dewater the solids from the sediment, from the slurry mixture of sediment and water. And then that dewatered material will actually go to Frederick County's Rexford Road Landfill, where it will be stockpiled for future use as daily cover. So the, the actual dredging activity is, is occurring at three different locations, in water in the lake, at the staging area to dewater it, and to remove the solids, and then the solids will then be trucked to the Rexford Road Landfill. The funding for the project is coming from three different agencies, City of Frederick is the primary funding agency. They're funding 50% of the cost of this project. The county has a 25% share, and the Lake Linganore Association has a 25% share. The project's being administered by the Maryland Environmental Service, which is an instrumentality of the state of Maryland. And they do dredging projects like this, particularly um, uh, in the Bay and other areas where dredging operations are needed. So they have a lot of experience with this and they've bid out the project and they have a contractor on board which is mobile dredging and video pipe services and they'll actually be the contractor on site doing the work over the next year and a half. We just ask that the residents of Lake Linganore bear with us. I mean, we've had a lot of construction over the years, the, the re renewing of the water and sewer lines, uh, certainly the LLCS's road project, and this is really one of the last things to be done to, uh, to try to make sure that their community continues to be sustainable and, and going forward has plenty of volume in their lake.